Hello everybody, my name is Ryan and welcome to the official Uniburo YouTube channel. Today I'll be showing you how to add custom fields to custom report types. To get started, you want to click on the setup menu. And once you're in the setup menu, you'll want to search report types. It's important to note that you only need to add custom fields to custom report types. Whenever you add a custom field to a standard object, those, uh, those fields are automatically added to the standard report types as well. So custom fields will only be need added to custom report types. And you'll only need to add to a custom report type when you create the field after creating the report type. If it's created before creating the report type, it'll be added to the custom report type. So once you're in the setup menu, search report type, and we're going to search report types. And let's just click continue here. And so here's a list of all our custom report types. The one we'll be adding fields to today will be accounts with requests with invoices. Once you're here, click on edit layout. So here's the custom report type, and you'll see there's the different objects. We have the accounts object, we have the request object, and the invoices object. So we'll be adding fields to the invoices object. So to do so, uh, on the side here, you'll want to click on the object. In this case, we'll click on invoices fields. And so here you'll see the list of available fields to be added. The ones grayed out, those are ones already added to the report. The ones in green, uh, are ones available to be added. So we're going to add status and we're going to add amount. Now it's important to note that when you add fields to the report they appear in which in the order in which they're shown here. So if we leave them here status and amount will appear as the last two on the invoices object. To make things clear we want them to appear in alphabetical so we're just going to reorganize that. We're going to put status over here and we're going to put amount over here. There's also the option to add uh, lookup fields to the report type. So we'll just do one or two of those. And to do so, we're going to click on the object. In this case, we'll, we'll do it to the accounts because we have more lookup fields for the account. And you'll click add fields related via lookup. So here we're going to click on, you can, as you can see here, you can click on different fields. We're going to look on the, we're going to look up to the account owner. And we're going to add company name and department. And when, click OK. And you'll see once you click OK, they automatically get added to the report type. You don't need to drag and drop them. And you'll know these are lookup fields because they have the magnifying glass appearing beside them. In this case, we won't reorder them just so you can see that they'll be appearing at the bottom of the list in the report. So once you've added the fields to the report type, just click on Save at the top. And now let's just go see that they're at the report type. So let's go back here. Let's just search report. Let's click on reports. I'm just going to this. And let's click on new report. And let's search accounts with requests with invoices. And now to see the available ones, we'll click on the columns here. And for the invoices object remember we added status and you can see it's available here to be added we also added amount which is here and we can see the lookup fields that we added as well and you'll see those appear at the bottom if we scroll you see here here's the two lookup fields the count the company name and the department and you'll see the field they look up to. It's the account owner. So let's just add those. And so that's how you add custom fields to custom report types in Salesforce. Thank you very much. Have a good day.